We are given a nice math Olympiad problem where the square root of a plus the square root of minus a equals 32. Our job is to find all possible values of a. So can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, take the square root of minus a on the right-hand side to get the square root of a equals 32 minus the square root of minus a. Now, in order to eliminate the square roots, and get an equation that we can actually solve, we will square both sides of this equation. On the left-hand side, squaring the square root of a simply gives a. On the right-hand side, we apply the identity p minus q. Whole square equals p squared minus two times p times q plus q squared. In our case, p is 32 and q is square root of minus a. So the right-hand side becomes 32 squared minus 2 times 32 times square root of minus a plus square root of minus a squared. Now calculate each part. 32 squared is 1024. Then minus 2 times 32 is minus 64. So we get minus 64 times square root of minus a. Finally, square root of minus a squared becomes just minus a because the square root and the square cancel, leaving the original expression under the root, which is minus a. If we bring that minus a from the right side to the left side, it becomes plus a. So we now get a plus a, or 2a, equals 1024 minus 64 times square root of minus a. Next, let us divide by 2 on both sides to get this. This will become a. Then this will become 512. Then this will become 32 times square root of minus a. Now take this minus 32 times square root of minus a here, and this a here to get 32 times square root of minus a equals 512 minus a. Now to eliminate the square root, we again square both sides. Left-hand side becomes 32 squared times square root of minus a squared. 32 squared is 1024. Square root of minus a squared is just minus a. So the left-hand side becomes minus 1024a. Then for the right-hand side, we again apply the identity p minus q whole square, which gives us this. So the right-hand side becomes 512 squared minus 2 times 512 times a plus a squared. 2 times 512 is 1024. Oh, look! Minus 1024a will get cancelled from both the sides, and we will be left with a squared plus 512 squared equals 0. This means a squared equals minus 512 squared or minus 1 times 512 squared. Now, take square root on both sides to get this. This will become a, and the right side will be the square root of 512 squared times square root of minus 1. Thus, a will be equal to plus minus 5, 1, 2 times i, where i is also called iota, or the imaginary unit, and that's it. So, a is either 512i, or minus 512i. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!